part three with Bill. We're here in Cannon Beach, and uh, Jesus just touched him like he touched me this week, and it reminded him of his story of being born. He's a living miracle. And, and so am I. Uh, real quickly, when I was two years old, I had my tonsils removed. And I did, they didn't know if I'd survive that, and it was a whole scare. But I don't actually know the details of that story. But your story is really detailed and really good, so... Uh. It's actually Warrington, but... Oh, that what we're at right now? Yeah. Oh, we're in Warrington. <laughs> but my name is Bill, and when I was born, I didn't have a soft spot in my head. You can actually see from here and here. Yeah. My forehead is only this wide, but it's supposed to be this wide. And the doctor told my mom that that happens one in a hundred thousand, but the deformity is one in a half a million. And then they told her that they needed to do some kind of surgery to, to fix it. Otherwise, they were afraid that my brain would grow and my skull wouldn't, and it would kill me. Oh, man. So my mom had the deacons pray for me and anoint me with the oil. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, and then she said, well, God, it's up to you. You stop the surgery or you make it happen. First time they scheduled the surgery, I had a cold. And they said, well, with a cold, brand new baby, you know, it's probably going to kill him, so we'll reschedule. Second time, I had chicken pox, and they said the same thing. Brand new baby, chicken pox, probably kill him. Third time, I had... Scarlet fever. <laughs> Nobody gets scarlet fever anymore. That's it so doesn't great. happen. It's a dead disease. Nobody gets scarlet fever. Third time, they said, well, we can't do the surgery. He's too old. It just won't work. And they told my mom that I would be severely retarded, grotesquely disfigured, and I would never live past 21, and I would never mentally be older than seven. When I was in high school, I had my IQ tested. I was in the genius range. <laughs> Hallelujah, <laughs> She prayed and anointed you and trusted. And yeah. the, the, the number three is super significant when God does miracles. Jesus was dead three days. He rose on the third day. Um, the triunity of God and everything in creation is three in one. The human being, the family, everything. It's super significant that you got sick three times. Not only that, I was... I grew up with this girl, and I... We fell out of touch, but anyway... We reconnected, and she said that she was into numerology and stuff like that. So I was like, well do my workup, you know, let's see what, what's going on. She told me that I was a 33, 
Wow. And she said those are extremely rare. There's 11, 22, and 33 that are special. I, I don't want to toot. But I'm familiar enough with numerology to know that people that are into it love 11, 22, and 33. So she, I, she told me I was a 33 and that she was honored to work on my profile. Cool. Awesome. So, I told you I'm a walking miracle. <laughs> yeah, literally. 33 was the age Jesus began his ministry. That's true. 3 p.m. is the time he died. I didn't know that. Yeah, and he rose three days later. Yeah, that one I knew. Uh, his disciples would have increments of three. Three, six, nine, twelve. Uh, no so, kidding. Yeah, so he... he uh, I didn't so even he, think he was the thirteenth man, right? Or he was the first. Uh, if you count him and his disciples, it's thirteen, so three. You're right. Uh, and creation was... We were created in increments of three. Three days and three days. Six days. There's 66 books in the Bible, so that's three, 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 three. <laughs> oh, wow, you six, put a lot of time in there's this. There's 66 chapters in Isaiah, so that's three, 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 three. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, pretty cool stuff. Thank you, Bill, for sharing your story. A lot of people are going to be blessed. And the blessings are going to land on you because you reached out to others. I hope this helps because I've been trying to put that out for a long time and it just, I don't, didn't know how. YouTube. <laughs> Dude, thank you guys for watching. I promise before God, none of this was scripted. None of this was fake. Jesus touched me. Jesus touched him. Okay, I guess it was scripted in the fact that he told his story, and then I was like, will you tell me again? And then we recorded it. So I guess, but that's not a script. That's, that's his real story. That's not scripted. Right, okay, so it was planned. <laughs> but just that part, and dude, like, you have a conscience in you. You have a soul in you. You, you can, God has given you the ability to recognize truth, and I don't have to tell you this was true. But this is exciting. And your the license plate across the street says Bill. <laughs> B-L-L. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, I can't zoom in from this motion. <coughs> Anyways, shalom to all of you. Shalom to Bill. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. I'm praying for my family to be restored. And I'm, I've just been a jerk. And Jesus has just immediately restored me. I just, like, like even though I've been messing You're up. You're a good guy, Silas. Thank you.